In this experiment, we want to test the effect that bleach has on fabric. So I've selected uh, two beakers and I've got one with bleach, one with water. I've also got eight containers or beakers. I've got four pieces of material that are all the same size, even though it doesn't look like it. Um, I've got some gloves and uh, eye protection. I've got a hand lens or a magnifier to uh, check what's going to happen. And there is a stirring rod, that glass rod, and I've got two forceps so that I can manipulate the materials. So I'm going to cut up the material, and I've selected two, four different types of material. The first one in black is felt. The second one is, I don't know what that is, a bit shiny stuff. The third one's nice and thin. Uh, I don't know the names of these materials, and uh, or fabric rather, and the last one is cotton. But if you have some lying around the house, use that. So I have prepared everything and I realised that it's not going to work unless I have a stopwatch. So it's a good idea to get all your equipment ready before you start. And so I started the stopwatch and obviously there will be a slight variation because I didn't put all the materials into those beakers at the same time. So there's a slight variation but I'm going to check how it goes over maybe a period of an hour, even a couple of days. And um, I just labeled what I used. So I decided to use 50 milliliters of bleach and 50 milliliters of water. And the reason I'm doing bleach and water is because when I take this out, I can see the difference between what the material looked like if it was uh, treated with the bleach compared to a control where I don't expect anything to, it ha to happen when it's sitting in water. The other thing I didn't mention earlier was I'm doing all of this on some nice paper that I can throw in the bin afterwards and you can see I've just used a texture to draw um, so I don't get confused of what went where. So after the hour I will take those swabs out and I'll put them on the paper and label those and then I'll use those tweezers and also the, uh, the uh, magnifying lens to see what's happened to it.